So if you were just in my live, you know that I will not be going live for a month. Starting right now, you will not see me until January 2021 on live on this app at all. Since people think that arachnophobia isn't real. And it's funny to be like, there's a spider behind you. There's a spider in your hair. There's a spider on the wall when there's nothing behind me. Now that my anxiety is through the roof and my heart feels like it's pounding out of my chest. Because I had to check the ceilings and the walls because y'all seem to think it's funny. No more lives. No more lives out of me. I, you do not know the stress that that kind of sh puts me through. But since you think it's funny, since you think it's comical, nothing. You'll just get your little videos and that's it. Hell, I may stop interacting. I don't like this. I'm not laughing. Screw this app. Hello my loves, what's up and welcome back to a Drama Queen. So today's video, I was actually supposed to upload something that I've been doing a lot of research about. I've done around a month and a half, could be a little less than that, of research for a particular video that I will be uploading over the weekend. But this video is so much more important to get out as soon as possible due to the fact that my amazing friend my amazing friend auntie underscore tyler thanos on tiktok so tyler if you're watching this i love you i love you and i am so sorry that people feel the need to bring you down and feel the need to make your life hard when you've already got your own problems you've already got your own issues to deal with and nobody should be adding on to that especially online trolls that go unmonitored so i'm going to be linking tyler's social down in the description box below if you do want to follow her please do though because she is one of the realest people you will find on social media speaks her mind and does not care what people have to say about it that that is somebody who is a real influencer in my opinion because the term influencer means to influence somebody to do better and that's what she does now what has actually happened so yesterday Tyler had gone live on TikTok and there were online trolls who came in and told her that there was a spider hanging on the wall behind her and that there were spiders in her hair and it has come to my attention as well that people have been saying slurs to her on her live stream, calling her names, saying really nasty stuff, and this yet again goes unnoticed. These people yet again get to get away with their actions because you know what? You can make up an account on social media and you don't have to use your real name. You don't have to use your real photos. In fact, you don't have to have the account about you at all. You can just make up a fake account and hate on somebody who is already struggling and I'm getting sick of it. I don't know why like, telling somebody that there's something and crawling on the wall behind them is like the funniest shit to people. I fucking hate these kids on TikTok. I really fucking do. I love having an unwarranted anxiety attack because someone thought it was funny to say that there are spiders behind me or hanging and trying to get in my hair. Like some of y'all haven't been shut down enough in regular life to act like you have some common sense. I'm so irritated. I'm gonna go dust and cry us because my anxiety is through the roof that i don't even know if i want to lay down in my own in bed right now so thank you thank you this is not the first time i have seen this happen not only to tyler but to multiple creators as well and i'm here to stand up for them i have a platform and i should use it for good and that's exactly that's exactly what we do here on drama queen because more awareness needs to be spread to stuff like this yes you you can't moderate every single hate comment on that platform but there is steps that can be taken to prevent that do you know what happens on instagram Instagram, if you post a really nasty comment, let's just say I call someone C-U-N-T. You're such a C-U-N-T. I hate you. You are ugly. If I say that, if I comment that on someone's Instagram, it gets deleted almost immediately. Literally. And the same thing I'm pretty sure happens on Facebook. The same thing also happens here on YouTube. They have a filter where they know what bad comments are coming through and they don't post them. And I think that is great. The internet, we, we all know it. It's not that much of a positive place. We know that people use the internet to hate on others and to bring other people down, but there needs to be some type of comment moderation on TikTok. What steps can exactly be taken? I don't know yet. 
I'm not somebody who works at TikTok. I'm not somebody who works on apps, social media apps. I don't know how they can prevent certain comments from coming through. It's not just that, but it's the fact that people think that just because people have a following online that we can be punching bags to people for whatever reason. You're having a bad day at home. You had a bad day at school. You feel bad in general. So in feeling bad, you must think that you need to make other people feel bad. It's easier to use us content creators and anybody who has followers online. It's so easy to use us. And it breaks my heart because I feel like we're not thought about as people. Tyler isn't thought about as a person. Content creators aren't thought about as people where is the line drawn okay criticize somebody to induce somebody who already has chronic anxiety with a panic attack that you seen tyler have and i didn't put the full video in because when tyler watches that i don't want any kind of like anxiety trauma to come back to somebody because I know what that's like. I don't like watching videos of me when I've had a previous panic attack. People do need to see a little bit of what goes on when trolls go too far. You always have that stupid ass argument brought up. Well, you know, if, if it's that bad, just get off the internet, shut your accounts down. No, I should not have to shut my account down, nor should anybody else have to shut their account down just because of some hating ass trolls. Your words do have repercussions. What you say to somebody hurts. Surprise, surprise. What you say to an influencer hurts. What you say to a content creator hurts. Because we are real people with real feelings. You saw that video of Tyler breaking down. No, I'm mad because we shouldn't have to put up with this constantly. Yeah, we, we may have chosen this career path to be online and to be criticized and to be under the public eye where everybody watches what we do. Tyler does not deserve this. Many other content creators who have gone through similar things don't deserve this. Where where, where has the saying gone, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all? None of it gets taken seriously. Nobody does anything about it because these people know that they can just get away with saying whatever they want. And I hope it changes. I did this video because I love Tyler with all my heart. Seeing her in pain just reminds me of so many other people online who do content creation and have to be the punching bag for everybody. Well, I'm tired of it. We aren't punching bags. If you are feeling bad about anything, work on it. That's what everybody has to do. Like, and I just want to know what makes people feel better about doing that. How does that make you feel? You just tore someone apart and you feel good about that. And I hope you do understand because nobody else online has to go through this except people who do have somewhat of a following because it's easy for people to do that. So please check out Tyler's socials. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through if you did. I think you're so awesome for staying here and listening to everything I've had to say and that Tyler's had to say as well. It will mean a lot to us. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. That's all I have to say.